Good morning, everybody. It's Christopher from Sun Education with the four majors and announced update for the 30th of September 2013. Morning, guys. Hope you had a fantastic weekend with family and friends. I hope you had a great time off with um, all your folks. Um, just looking at the four majors this morning, starting with the Euro against US Dollar on our FX8 Ultimate Template. Uh, let's have a look and see how the week finished and what we can expect for this week in particular. So, um, straight away, if you look at the daily, you can quite clearly see that the last prior week, very consolidative. And this is, and this is primarily after that um, FOMC statement that came out from the Fed. Uh, huge move to the upside for the euro. A lot of strength gained for the euro against US dollar after that FOMC statement meeting. However, since then, we have not seen any further progression. We've actually seen, seen a lot of consolidation. She's not make making any lower lows, so it's still positive, And you can still see that the candlesticks are very much positive. Our long-term sentiment on our indicator box is primarily telling us we should be looking for longs. However, intraday you can see the negativity is there, and the R squared is starting to complement that intraday ne that intraday negativity. Apologies. So we are seeing a consolidation and an uptrend. Uh, quite clearly, you can see that price has been trading above the 50 period moving uh, percent fib retracement area on my monthly time frame. This 50 percent fib area is my monthly fib. And you can see that price has been using that as a nice support. However, not going any higher, which is not a good sign. Uh, the longer that continues, the more likely we're going to start seeing negativity. And what we want to see then, if that is to be genuine uh, sentiment to the downside, is obviously a nice close below this 50% Fib retracement level. So if you look at it now, we can see a couple of days ago we had an up candle on the Friday. However, last night's trading on the Asian session has been quite dull. Uh, if we go down to our four-hour time frame, however, you can see that there's a potential for a negative set setup over here. Here we have an evening star formation. We had another one further back here at this resistance level. All these, this over here particularly um, is a genuine uh, in, uh, negative setup candle. And you can see since then the four-hour has been quite negative. The four-hour that's in play right now, we have another an hour and, and a bit just to go, is testing that monthly fib uh, support level if we do see a four hour candle close lower than that it's gonna be a nice bearish engulfing one that will definitely tell us that we should be looking for further negativity for the foreseeable future for the start of this week in particular and we could start looking towards those fomc statement lows that we saw here at the 23.6 on my weekly time frame this is the weekly fib and back to the institution so from this monthly to the institution to start with there's a healthy 134 pips and to that weekly, there's 156. So look at the institution to start with. You can see as we've been trading in this consolidative range, you can see the RMO has definitely dropped and the MACD is being clearly trading below the zero level. It's getting stronger or moving back towards the zero as we've been consolidating here. However, she's not making lower lows, got to always pretend, uh, make out the potential is there for, to, for, for price to bounce. So it's imperative that we do see a break, a breach lower confirm that we should be looking for lower sentiment if not a bounce and then we could look to potentially move back up towards these current highs that we've seen recently so overall this is the the umpteen time that prices fail to move higher and the longer that happens the more likely price is going to start looking negative so we want to see uh, either a break here you can see the candlestick on our fire it's in play right now we have a red arrow however the candlestick is still blue it has been blue we saw one or two areas where it went red however we're trading into the monthly fib so we Definitely need to see a nice bearish engulfing candle lower with a lot of sentiment behind it to really get everything to start looking negative. Otherwise, we could look for consolidation yet again around this area and then potential for an upside move. Moving on to sterling. Here again, nice uh, bullish into the week. And we saw price heading back to the prior current highs, which is also our weekly FIB level highs here at the 23.6, which is above the 61.88 in change mark. However, on uh, Sunday evening last night, we saw a slight pull move higher, but still being capped by the weekly FIB. And subsequently, from the 12 o'clock noon last night to this morning, the Asian session has been consolidative and has pretty much taken back what it made last night on that daily. Uh, the overall sentiment for long term is very much positive. You can see the R squared is complementing that long term sentiment. However, we're also seeing a bit of negativity in today, and the R squared is complementing that too. The overall trend is up. My RMO and my, Mac, my moving average here, the institution is very much in positive, so it's telling me we should be looking for buying sentiment. However, I have to be well aware that we have a weekly FIB above price. So if I move down to my four hour time frame, we get a buy signal straight away in our four hour, but we won't be buying primarily because we are trading into a major resistance, weekly resistance level higher than 50%, oh sorry, the 23.6 FIB level. You can see my daily, my weekly, my daily, my four hour, all very much buying sentiment. 
and you can see right now this far our counter closes any lower we're going to see a definite evening star guys and an evening star is updraft followed by an indecision at a resistance level followed by a bearish outlook in the opposite direction engulfing the prior up movement and you can see quite clearly if i just zoom in and show you that you can see bull move indecision at a weekly resistance level or any resistance level for that matter but this in case we're using the, the weekly fib and we're having a down drive in the opposite direction and if this candle can close lower in the next hour or so that will generally tell me looking at an evening start and we should be looking back down towards the lower lows over here that we had recently back to this prior resistance level higher uh, which is a healthy 58 pips and change it depends how much the four hour candle closes lower but there's from where price traded right now to this level there's a healthy 58 and change back to the trend line support here the intraday trend line support you can quite clearly see swing highs that would be our ultimate target so bearish setup intraday positive setup long term however we do if this is to be long term positive got to get above this weekly fib here at the 61.84 if we don't then there's more likely for price to roll over and test the lower lows <clears throat> excuse me on to the US dollar Swiss franc here on the daily if the euro is for, uh, moving higher then the US dollar should sorry the US dollar Swiss franc should be moving in the opposite direction we had a breakout on Friday a nice juicy breakout on Friday however by the end of the day we saw 50% of that being taken back and prices being consolidated now under that major support and resistance level if you can see we had a lot of consolidation almost a full week if I drop down to my four-hour time frame there we go we get a nice juicy sell signal on my four-hour time frame we have everything in our favor and the R squared is complementing that negativity and you can see the four-hour swing low swing low swing low swing low swing low um, not making any higher highs bounce bounce and then swing low in that breach uh, that breach of that 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 whole week of support and we saw a nice move to the downside however since then we had a nice little hammer pullback and then we've been consolidative since so very consolidative on the four hour time frame so we want to see another breach of this current um, support level here intraday at the 9043 and change mark still making swing lows which is positive the overall candlesticks are all negative with our last arrow was red and our candlesticks are red RMO is definitely still below the zero line MACD has closed below since its consolidation so we should be looking for negative sentiment to the downside our next target should be and we had a break of that should be down towards that 179 and change mark uh, that will be our long-term target so keep that keep that in play as it stands at the moment now however we are consolidated so we want to see a genuine you've got to be patient here wait for a nice bearish engulfing kind of close lower and then trade low if you don't get the bearish engulfing candle close low then we're more likely to to reattempt the highs we've just come from the breakout highs and prices trading now to that level is only 20 pips or so so we could be trading back into this consolidative range out on the breakout so be patient on this particular pair um, there's news out today so be patient and wait for that for that outcome to come and see where it takes us okay so wait for a nice everything's looking negative so we want to see a bearish engulfing counter close lower that's it if it moves high again it's got to trade above all this consolidation here in order to be positive again and it's going to take a lot of momentum well, positive momentum to the upside to do so um, there is news that um, over the weekend we had uh, Obamacare problems and um, the, the Republicans and Democrats in the Congress um, don't uh, are voting or deciding if they should do anything about a, the Obama's Affordable Care Act for the year um, so that's going to be a major talking point because they're at loggerheads at the moment. So if that hap if that doesn't go through or doesn't get pushed through this evening, we could see a lot of um, volatility in the market, and the US dollar Swiss franc would one be one of those that would be affected. US dollar Japanese yen here again on the daily, a nice breach on Friday, bearish engulf and counter closed lower. We wanted to see something happening. We saw the institution moving average um, for for some time. Every each time she moved lower finding support on the institution moving average on our daily and bouncing higher however last night we had a massive gap down after that um, the the news that came out about the 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 loggerheads that the um, Republicans and Democrats are having in Congress regarding the uh, Obama's Affordable Care Act and um, they are not coming out with any um, any positive uh, agreements and subsequently they're at loggerheads and the longer this continues we could see um, if anything, um, a shutdown uh, over the government's, the U.S. government's uh, stand um, on on this act. So it's imperative that we do get something that comes out. The longer, the, if it doesn't go through, then we're going to see a lot of people um, being forced out of jobs or not being paid, etc. And that's not really good for the U.S. dollar. So at the moment now, we saw 
a bearish engulfing counter close lower or even a, a an absolute jump to the downside last night if i just bring it up you can see it a gap lower and that gap low has taken us below the institution moving average on our daily and that's represented here on my trend line my rmo is still very much below candlesticks have been very negative in this consolidation however i wanted to see a genuine move lower so what i want to see now is this institution the next uh, day in particular moving lower than the current low because by doing so then i know it's genuine negative sentiment to the downside not just a fake out and then i could start looking towards my weekly level to the downside here which is a healthy 53 pips away and then ultimately look towards those monthly lows which is a healthy from where price is trading right now to those levels you're looking in excess of 375 pips so got to be patient here like to see that as a genuine move lower i don't want to see any any um uh, gaps we tend to see filled by the market so we could see price putting back to close that gap if you look at the four hour time frame we are testing the 23.6 pullback of this current low the 38.2 would take away that 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 uh, gap altogether 50 percent would take us to the underside of this trend which would be our institution moving average so the trend now intraday i will mark out the institution moving average with a with a trend line support or horizontal support level and use it as your resistance level high as long as price stays below that level then ultimately we should still be looking for negativity over here quite clearly on the floor you can quite clearly see that we're trading above trading below all the moving averages in particular the institution which is negative sign our indicator setup is telling us we should be looking for neg negativity so let's look for that intraday support being breached and then we could start looking for the continuation to play through for the remainder of this week so just be patient on that particular um, setup that's a guy short and sweet so that's going to be the start of this week uh, look to see if there's any news out today guys that could factor in price action especially this evening uh, regarding the obamacare plan um, but this uh, morning we have we just had the german retail sales a month figures coming out for germany at 7 a.m gmt and that came out negative guys um, not good the, the the previous figure was um, a, a negative one to start with we're expecting a forecast of a positive one it just didn't come out as high as I expected. The forecast was worth 0.9% and it came out at 0.5. So 0.4 short. However, still a lot positive than the previous figure. Um, this morning for GDP, we uh, for sterling, we have at 9.30 GMT this morning, we have the net lending figures for the individual month and month, which is going to be important. Um, they expect a 0.3 billion um, pound change. The previous figure was 1.3 billion, expecting a forecast of 1.6 billion. Let's see, this afternoon we go into Canadian GDP month and month figures, which is very, very important for that particular for that currency, the loonie, and expecting a very, very positive GDP month and month figure for that, coming from a con uh, from a very negative previous figure of neg negative 0 0.5 to a positive 0 0.6, so almost a 1% uh, different in the opposite direction, which is good. Then we have this afternoon we have the quarter to three, we have US dollar Chicago PMI results, and then I think later this evening, I think we have that all important um, Obamacare plan uh, meeting with the Republicans and Democrats at, at the Congress, which is also very, very important. So a lot of news out this evening, particularly um, see if it factors into your trading, please, guys. Back it up with some money man management. If you are using this particular or any particular template, you've got to have some money management. It's imperative that you have a very, very good money management um, plan. OK, I'll leave you with that. Hope you have a fantastic trading day and I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely.